So today we're going to be doing a trip to some local cities around the Cuenca, Ecuador area. So we're up here in the Andes and we've hit uh, about 10,200 feet on our way down to one of the local towns. So we'll see what uh, this tour is going to be about today. If you haven't joined us yet, please give this video a subscribe or give it a like. On this bus that Julie and I are on with our friends leaving Cuenca to go visit these cities, we stop for a pit stop to take in the sights of the Andes and get a view. For those of us that got out of the bus to check things out, when we went back to the bus, we had a little bit of a surprise. Our bus is leaving us. Uh -oh. <laughs> um. <laughs> you got your video going? We're, we're left here. Lord love and duck. <laughs> okay, now let's work. The boss does start. Oh my god. Air brakes. Air brakes. Go ahead and tell us what's happening right now. I don't think it's starting. So, anyway, uh, we were rolling down the hill and uh, everybody was thinking nobody was behind the wheel and it was scaring them. But. I wasn't paying attention, so I really didn't even <laughs> notice. <laughs> <laughs> <That's fine>. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So we survived the great bus breakdown of 2020 to go along with all the other disasters. We figured we were toast because here we are in a bus full of people and we're in the Andes. We all saw the movie Survive and we know that they eat the vegetarians first. <laughs> So our first stop is San Bartolome. Is that what it says? San Bartolome? Is that what? That's pretty close. Okay. So we're gonna go see what San Bartolome is. <laughs> it's San Bartolome. And what, what are we doing in San Bartolome? Do you know, Ruth? Um, we're going to go to a guitar factory. Huh? Okay. You good for that, Marshall? I'm good with that. San Bar San Bartolome. Bartolome. San Bartolome. And we, we gotta put the R in there. Pretty church, but we're gonna go look at a guitar factory. So the city is famous for guitars, apparently here in San Bartolome, uh, Bartolome, Bartolome. Anyway, I'm butchering it. But we got these half guitars. I have no idea what the deal is with the half guitars in the fountains. So we arrived at the San Bartolome guitar shop. It's a uh, multi generational. Family business. I'm going to teach us how to make the guitar. So, these little intricate designs that show up in the guitars, never understood how much work went into it when it's handmade. He's using his chin to break out little blocks of color that he will piece together into the design to give the uniqueness and special detail for this particular. Guitar. Each specific color is placed into a different matchbox where he takes a pair of tweezers and places them together in the precise pattern that he's trying to achieve. We need time to make this kind of beautiful work. Yes. So he makes one to two guitars a month. a month. Depends on the design or depends on the... Sometimes a special wood to have to wait for... Let them dry more than other ones. All depends. All depends. 
sí, ¿eh? los, los, los colores. ¿Sí ven? Este es el pino que viene de España. Este es el nogal que está este, este de aquí. Es, este. es loco. Ah, sí. Este es el, el nogal. Verá que tiene pino, romerillo, romerillo ¿no? de wood. nogal, pumamaki, este, esta madera que viene de Perú que se llama soto y cedro. En esta guitarra acá hay como siete especies de madera. Le cortamos y luego entran así. Wow. So he can make up to two guitars a month and the cheapest one is $100 and the more expensive is $250. And so he's looking at uh, $500 a month uh, maximum for his efforts here. So uh, now you can understand why these guitars can be expensive. And that's if you're buying it here. So by the time it leaves here, it gets shipped somewhere else and there will be an upcharge. <laughs> It's been a pretty impressive experience. I don't think I'm going to look at a simple guitar as a simple guitar any longer. Quite a lot of detail, hard work and labor goes into producing these handmade versions. If you get an opportunity to buy a guitar if you're a guitar enthusiast, please give these guys some business. Walking through this showroom, I wish I knew how to play the guitar and I wish I had room in my luggage to take one home but these things were absolutely beautiful, and now I appreciated them much more. Stop two, we're where? Six Sig for the Panama Hat Factory. Okay, so we're gonna go look at hats. Oh, yeah. Maria Auxiliadora is the name of this cooperative. It's a probably a 150 women making the hats in this cooperative, okay? Cooperativa Maria Auxiliadora, okay? This is a farm. This palm grows in the tropical, and that's the way how they come to Cuenca. So original, this Panama hat started to make as in, like, in, in the beach, in the coast, in the province of Manabí. So they cut, they peel it, and they cook, like a cooker, in hot water, let them dry for a day or so. So that's the way how they come to Cuenca. So here you're getting a look at the largest Panama hat in the world. Seven or eight strokes, the, the, the one that I showed you before, they need seven or eight of them to make one Panama hat, the standard. But if they're gonna make it finer, so they need more and more and more. Wow. More finer, more expensive, more time. They probably do is one, one, one a day, or probably two a day, each person make one of them. Wow. Oh, okay. After when this is ready, they just started to cut all this around it. Wow. And use the iron to make nice and flat. How beautiful. See? And the machine automatic comes for uh, 30 seconds or something. And they do one, sometimes two, sometimes three times in the machine. Isn't she beautiful? Cat face. Pretty hat. Wow. That looks darling, darling. I think that's you. Well, she is a girl, girl. <laughs> so 
this is the official store for the Panama hats. And I actually think we found a hat that uh, I'm going to buy. I think the jewelry needs to consider buying that one. It looks beautiful on it. I think you're going to buy this hat for me today. What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below if you like it. Leave a comment down below if you don't like it. Because if you've already bought it, it won't matter. <laughs> okay, so we're like official, unofficial Ecuadorians. Now we have our own Ecuadorian Panama hats. And of course, this is the origin of the Panama hat. So. I think I... Look good, then you look good. Stop three here in Chortaleg, uh, near, not too far out of Cuenca, and we're going to go see the silver and the jewelry because that's what it's known for. Chortaleg had kind of a Christmas vibe. Looking at the earrings hanging from the light poles reminded us of Christmas ornaments. We were taken back into one of the artisan's studios to check out how they make some of the silver jewelry. The amount of fine detail and hours going into these handmade pieces were quite extraordinary to really try to comprehend how much labor goes into these things. I think most of us consider most of the jewelry we buy is made by machines and very few are probably made by the craftsmen that Chorta League has. Looking through the multi-generational workshop as well as the showroom, I couldn't help but ponder how many hours of labor have gone into producing all of the art and treasures that were on display here. Obviously, these were not created overnight. Some of these may have been hanging here for years, staying polished, waiting for the right person to come and say, you're mine, time to take you home. There's just so much love, labor, and attention put into each of these pieces of art. I'm gonna recommend that if you get a chance to make this visit, please do check out this shop or the other shops within Short League. So, Julie, what wedding anniversary do we have coming up? 25th. And what does 25th mean? Silver. So what do you have right here? So this is my new silver uh -huh. ring. Oh. And it oh. fits, so we'll play with it all day. <laughs> Into Chorta League Square. Everybody, Rick. Chorta League has a very unique and unusual feel to it. It has an alpine feel. The downtown had such a beautiful park, well manicured and landscaped. It was very clean. The shops and the restaurants around the square had a very European feel to them. It almost felt like you're in a place where Christmas is always around. Okay, so honey, what do you think of Chortaleg? Chortaleg is beautiful. It's a cute little town up in the mountains in the Andes. And it's a silver capital. So I had to get a, a piece, as you saw in the previous clip. And it's got filigree, so it's just absolutely beautiful. So this is stop number four on our trip. We're going to see a textile place. I think it's uh, specializing in some weaving. I'm not exactly sure on this stop, but uh, come along. As we visited the Weavers, we realized there's a lot of labor-intensive work that's going into the designs and the manufacture of the ponchos, the shawls, the scarves, table runners, as well as the myriad of different other types of items such as purses and wallets and embroidery. It's quite an impressive display of effort and work and craftsmanship. It literally can take days, weeks, and even sometimes months to produce one item. The amount of work that goes in to extract the threads and the fabric and to make the material to put together one item is something that's almost incomprehensible in today's manufacturing age. 
eight hours work for one man doing this kind of stuff. Three days to finish just one mechanic. Once again, walking into a showroom on this bus tour has been so enlightening to have an appreciation for what we were looking at and the amount of love and labor that was put into each item. My eyes have been open to Ecuador's artisans today. We hope you enjoyed this bus trip as much as we enjoyed presenting it to you. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Warren and Julie Travel With Us. And if you can, please give this video a like. If you're wondering how Julie and I funded our early retirement, please go down and look at our information on Fundrise, and there's a link there. And hopefully you'll join us on our next adventure as we travel the world. Right now, we are in Ecuador, and we plan to bring you quite a few more videos on this beautiful country. Thank you, and have a great day.